Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the background color of the preset uh, right inside Filmora 10. Uh, so I saw some questions from my subscriber and also on my fa on our Facebook uh, group about Filmora. Uh, there's, there are people asking how to change the color of the background of the preset inside, inside Filmora 10 and also Filmora 9. Uh, actually, uh, when Wondershare offer their preset, uh, meaning that they want, uh, want us as a user to to use their preset, just follow the preset. Uh, we can change the text and keep the presets. Uh, that will make our editing faster. And by the way, because some of you still want to customize the presets or change the color of the preset or something like that. So for me, I will not do that. I just use the preset and I, I just uh, find the preset that I want and change the text uh, and I keep the, uh, the preset uh, in that template so that I can edit my video faster. By the way, it's okay to change if you want. Okay, so uh, here I am uh, inside my computer. Let's start a new project. Uh, click here to start a new project in Filmora. Uh, for example, we go to title because uh, we have many presets in the title uh, title tab here. And uh, we are going to find a lower third. Uh, just give you an example. Uh, this one, for example, lower third number seven. And you can use the same technique to, with other presets. So uh, we drag and drop this one onto the timeline. For example, here we have a preset of this one, uh, a purple, and uh, this one is the blue color. And it does uh, it. Uh, if you want to change the co this color, you can follow this uh, instruction. Okay. So firstly, right click on the preset and go to Advanced Edit. Okay. So here is at the the Advanced uh, Text Editor. You can just uh, delete the text. For example, this one and now you have only the presets or the timeline and the next thing you want to do is to export this one export this preset as a video because uh, it is a video but uh, it is created by uh, wondershare so we cannot uh, we cannot select this one and change the color or something like that and now we need to export this uh, preset as a video okay uh, we can uh, click ok to go back to the timeline and now we have a preset of about five seconds or something so it is for uh, about five seconds now we are going to export this one export as a video and now we choose preset number one preset one and we are going to uh, to select the frame rate for example uh, 24 frames per second and keep the bit rate at 20,000 kbps uh, full hd okay and then click ok and now going to export it okay so it finished uh, after some second and uh, now we are going to uh, drag and drop this one into Filmora so we click here to find the target and here we have the preset and we go back to uh, Filmora and go to folder and now we can drag and drop this one into Filmora that's easy right and now we can delete this lower third and drag and drop this video onto a timeline so uh, match to media uh, we have a preset here for example so we can change the color of this uh, preset by double click on the preset and go to the color so that at the color tab here we have some some option here such as the white balance and something for example we can uh, increase the temperature to change the look of the color here and also reduce the tint uh, so that's that is how you you can change the color go to tones and we can increase or reduce the contrast here and also saturation and and so on okay and about 3D LUT, we can also apply a 3D LUT for this preset Harry Potter, for example, like this. And we can even click on the advanced edit here, advanced color correction. So uh, we have a bunch of different preset for this one. For example, we can play, uh, play the video and then we can select any preset here many many preset are uh, down here for example this is uh, cool and this is warm and you can also change it to warm marks and harry potter walking desk or or any anything anything cyber punch anything you want uh, if you want to deep dive into the uh, into the, the color correction tools you can uh, click on adjust and then go to hl uh, meaning uh, huge 
saturation and luminance uh, click on this button for example here uh, we have the, this blue and we can select this one uh, this one sorry and reduce the saturation to change or increase the saturation increase the luminance and increase the huge so you can do anything anything right here and you can change the color of the background of the preset inside Pimora 10 okay so, and now if you're happy with the color you change okay and you just want to click on ok to go back to the timeline but you need to do some more thing for example adding text to the preset and also change the blending mode of this preset video okay for example here I have this preset uh, ready okay Uh, at this position i want the text to appear appear here or i can scale scale up this preset for example uh, like this and i want to add the text now i need to go to title again and select a title and then i'm going to drag and drop this one the default title uh, and then change the position for example this uh, this title i want to it appear here at this position i can uh, scale it down and put the text right here uh, so we have your title here so the same with the preset right and we can select a, an animation for this text uh, typewriter for example like this okay and we can also uh, shorten the duration uh, but when when we apply this preset to our video for example i have a video down here uh, we need to select a, a compositing option for this video uh, let's drag and drop a video down here sample video uh, so okay so I have this video uh, for example okay when we play the uh, play this on the timeline uh, we don't see the video uh, because uh, we have this preset cover the whole video okay so now we need to double click on this preset and go to the video tab here and go to compositing and now you need to select a blending mode option to screen or lighten we can go with screen and uh, it will display the, your title here or you can uh, select other blending option here if you want okay so uh, it is how you can uh, change the color of the background of your preset inside Fimora 10 so I think in my opinion uh, I think it's just more work it make your uh, editing slower than uh, you just use the preset right inside Fimora 10 by the way it's, it's just a solution for you if you want to customize the color of the background of the preset inside Fimora 10 I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.